I'm Saud and in this video we are going to have fun with Hamming code. Hamming code is basically used to detect errors. Before we transmit data bits we construct their Hamming codes. Hamming code consists of data bits and parity bits. Every 2 raised to nth bit is a parity bit. So 2 raised to 0 that is 1 so the first bit is a parity bit. 2 raised to 1 that is 2 so the second bit is a parity bit. 2 raised to 2 that is 4 so the fourth bit is a parity bit. Let's say we want to construct the Hamming code for uh, 1, 0, 1 and 1. I have written these bits in the place of data bits. Next we need the parity bits. The parity bit P1 is set in such a way that E1 parity is established for the bits P1, D3, D5 and D7. I'll write it separately. P1, D3, D5 and D7. Now D3 is 1 D5 is 1 and D7 is 1. For even parity or uh, even number of 1's, P1 will have to be 1. So P1 is 1. Next P2 is set in such a way that uh, even parity is established for P2, D3, D6 and D7. P2, D3, D6 and D7 d3 is 1, d6 is 0 and d7 is 1. For even parity p2 will have to be 0. So p2 is 0. Next uh, p4 is set in such a way that there is even parity for p4, d5, d6 and d7. p4, d5, d6 and d7 d5 is 1, d6 is 0 and d7 is 1. So p4 will have to be 0 for even parity. So p4 is 0. And uh, easier way to remember this is 4, 5, 6, 7 are the last 4 bits. Then uh, 7 is common in both of these. And 1 comes after 2. So the first is 1 and the next is 2. Then there is 35 and 36. 36 comes after 35. Uh, this is the solution for uh, 1011 so 1010101 is a Hamming code for 1011 now let's say your friend is a digital transmitter and you are a digital receiver your friend is sending these bits to you but some guy in between he messes up this code and he changes this bit to zero so now you have two options the first is to punch the guy in the uh, okay never mind and the second option is to correct the code we'll stick to the second option for now so this is the code that you have received and you don't know which bit has been changed. I'll make this a 0 and even this is 0. On receiving this code you shall check if there is even parity with these combinations. So even parity fails for the bits associated with P1. So I'll write 1 over here. There's no error with the bits associated with P2. So this is a 0. Then there is odd parity out here, so there is an error with the bits associated with P4. Now if you convert this binary number into decimal, 101 in binary is 5 in decimal. This indicates that the fifth bit is incorrect. So in place of 0 we have uh, 1 over here. This was about Hamming codes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for listening.